After you've worked your swatch to the size you like, it's time to bind off. Take your work in your left hand and the empty needle in your right hand. Knit the first two stitches. Insert the tip of the left needle into the front of the first stitch. Secure the stitch with your left thumb. Now, pull that first stitch up and over the second stitch and over the tip of the right needle. Let me show you that again. Knit the stitch. Next, take the tip of the left needle Insert it into the front of the first stitch. Now, hold the stitch against the needle with your thumb and bring it up and over the second stitch and over the tip of the right needle. Knit the next stitch. Insert the tip of the left needle into the front of the first stitch. Hold the stitch against the tip of the left needle with your thumb Bring the first stitch up and over the second stitch and off the tip of the needle. I'll complete the steps two more times. Take a look here. I'll straighten the stitches and you can see the tidy chained edge of the bind off. Continue to the end of the row. Knit the next stitch. Take the tip of the left needle, insert it into the front of the first stitch. Hold the stitch against the needle with your thumb and bring it up and over the second stitch and over the tip of the right needle. Snug up the working yarn just a little bit. It's important to keep an even tension when working the bind off. Now I've come to the last stitch. I'm going to knit this stitch. And I will slip the second to last stitch up and over the last stitch and over the tip of the right needle. Next, I'll take my right needle and pull up a long loop. I want to make sure I leave a long tail for weaving in later. I'll cut the working yarn and pull the tail through the last stitch. I'll smooth out the bind off edge to make it look neat. Now all of the stitches are secured and this is what your bind off edge looks like.